Hi fitness friends, today we have our 2019 weightlifting workout number eight to do. This is a CrossFit and back focused workout that was written by our dear fitness friend, Kristen Ritter. So if you like this workout, make sure you leave it with a thumbs up and you let Kristen know what your favorite parts were in the comment section. All right, for this workout, I'll be using my plyo box that is 16 inches, my dumbbells, my easy curl bar, um, and probably even my sandbag. So grab the weights that you have to challenge yourself throughout this workout, push pause, get your whole body warmed up and ready to go because we are starting off this workout with a body weight Tabata pair, which is like a cardio, hard cardio warm up. okay? So push pause, get warmed up, and meet me for this workout in just a minute. All right, guys, I hope you are all set and ready to begin with our Tabata pair. We have a decline burpee paired with an alternating kick through to start, and I'm gonna hit go right away. This is a four minute set, 20 seconds long, 10 seconds rest, alternating between the two moves, starting with the decline burpee. Three, two, one. So feet up, hands are down, full push up, hold it up. Hold your glutes, core tight. Okay, alternating kick throughs is the paired move. So go ahead and start in your plank position. You're gonna step up with one foot and kick through. So step up with your left, kick through. Come back, other side, we're alternating. Decline burpees again. 20 second intervals, it goes real fast. Feet are up, let's go. Should be up by now. Start to feel good. Take it through. Through this, one more round of kick throughs. 
Okay. Second to bottle pair is a pike push up to a dive bomber push up. So you're alternating those two. Pair with face melters. A failed face melter is just your feet up on your elevation, fast feet up and down. So you're on your hands again. 10 seconds. Get those shoulders all warmed up and prepped for some CrossFit. We did in back moves. So pipe push up first. All the way up, dive bomber. Pipe push up, dive bomber. Pipe push up. I really like those two paired together. I don't think we've ever done that as a pair before, as a combo move. Okay, so face melters. Feet are up, hands are down. Fast feet. I'm going down with my right foot this time first. I'll switch to my left foot in the next 20 second round. Two, one. By the way, I'm wearing APL sneakers. These are the first time First pair of APLs I've ever had. <clears throat> Get them from, I got them from Lululemon. I'll let you know how I feel about them. Everyone always asks me what sneakers I'm wearing. They're pretty minimalist sole. It feels pretty flat, not very squishy. The toe back box is nice and wide so your foot can spread out when you're lifting. So hopefully they'll do well. Here we go. Going down with my left foot first this round. So I will include the link to them in the description of the video if anyone's interested. Pike push up, dive bomber. Melters, 20 seconds, and now we're going to move into our first super set right away. We're down with my left foot first. Back fly. So I'm actually gonna take this back here out of the way. 
away a little bit. For every back flight, I'm going to go with 15 pounds, or I'm sorry, probably 12 pounds, because I don't want to be swinging my weights, I want to make sure that I'm using my back. All right. So starting with that single leg deadlift, and roll. Keep that weight right next to your legs, go. Deadlift down, row, stand, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Other side. So, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Get that other knee up on the elevation. If you don't have an elevation that you want to use, you just do it single leg deadlift row, okay? It's not a big deal. You do it the way it works for you. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, set that to lean down. Grab two dumbbells for the burpee back fly. So all that is is a push up at the bottom, back fly at the top. Got my twelves. Let's go. I'm going on an angle. So I have room for my full back fly. 10 reps. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five, 
six, seven, eight. All right, working back flies again. Ten reps. Let's go. Super set. So no real break in between moves. One.
So power, clean that bar up. Push press for eight using your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bent rows for 10. So I'm going to try to use this bar. 84 pounds is a little bit much for me to do 10 bent rows, but I'm going to give it a go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was hard. Front squat for eight. Front load, box squat for eight. So you're power cleaning that weight up again. Elbows up, full set. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. All right, back to the top for round two. Eight push presses. <coughs> Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten bent rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, front load box squats. Stay with me. Keep that weight, it's only eight reps. You got this. If I got it, you got it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one final round. Three rounds seems so much more mentally doable than four and five, doesn't it? I mean, it is, but mentally and physically. Still, it's nice to say last round. All right. Grab your weight. We got eight push presses. Go heavy here. Use your legs. Use your momentum. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Power that weight up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Bent rows for ten. One, two, three, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that was definitely too heavy for me. So I was using some momentum to get that way up. All right, final round of box squats. Front loaded. Eight reps. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, set it down. Our next set is combo moves, which means that you're doing the right amount of reps for each part of the move before you finish it off. For 12 reps, 10 reps, then eight reps. So, we are doing 12 reps with your lightest weight, 10 reps with a heavier weight, and eight reps with your heaviest weight. First move is a staggered hand burpee to a single arm snatch, and Kristen was nice enough to split it by sides. So six per side, five per side, then four by side. Okay. So I'm going to start with 25s, then move up to 30s, and then move up to 40s, okay? So five, staggered push-up, I'm sorry, six, staggered push-up, single arm snatch per side. Here we go. One. Alright, final weight for this move, 
40 pounds. Four reps per arm. <clears throat> Here we go, second push up. Um, two.
eight, nine, ten. Okay. Set them down. We've got eight reps left. Catch your breath. Get ready for your heaviest weight. Eight deadlifts. Then eight clean and press. I'm gonna try to stick with this weight, but if I have to take a break, I'll just set the bar down, get a breather, and then come back to it. Okay, let's do it. Eight deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do my gripper break. Clean and press. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, three there, I got three more. Like I 
10 in the 20s, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we've got eight reps. This time, just to change it up, I'm going to go with 30s, and I am going to use my legs. So, I'm going to switch my weights and do it. because of the way the time pyramid works. All right, so this is a six minute set. You have a 10 second countdown. I am going to start with a reverse grip push up to bicep curl. So palms face forward, get all the way down, get between your weights, elbows stay in, hop it up. Palms face each other, hammer curl. Don't swing those weights, curl using your biceps. It's really easy to start with a sway, especially when you're standing back from the burpee. But I challenge you to stand all the way up and then curl. Okay, split lunge snatch. Grab your weights. This is a 30 second interval. So, legs are together. Split lunge, shoot those weights up. Come on down. Other leg.
last that curl. Palms forward. Push up. I forgot to do the camera curl. So make sure your palms are facing each other. Camera curl.
So, windmill first for me. Back to 
two, and one. Whew. Okay, halfway done. Here we go. Eight, nine, 
one, ten. Okay. Eight. Power cleans. One. Nine, 
and my gear is just starting to roll around. <laughs> but don't worry, his crib is lowered, so he's not going to climb out. <laughs> Four reps. One. I know. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Love you. 